Right, honey, got a wee target for you. See that? It's for you to have a crack at. I'll have just one standing up myself, honey. Hello. See the glasses and blowing up over it. <laughs> uh, right through the middle. That's not fair, you had like 50 years of practice. It's bullseye, huh? Right. You got the target. That's my bullseye, that one there. That sure was above. That's a good shot, though. That was a miss. That was a kill, and that was a kill, and that was a kill. So you got one, two, three, four. Four kills and one miss. That's all right. Okay. He's got his back to you now, so just sneak up behind that tree. Keep going behind that tree. That's a girl. He's got his back to you, so he can move. Right now, get behind this tree here. Perfect place for the shot. You can take your time. Don't stand in the leaves. You can help it. Just go quietly there. Okay, so you got two rabbits. See there? He's on the fence line. You've got two. Load up. Load up. Pin your rifle against the tree and take your time for the headshot. Okay, you want to go for they're both juveniles. You go for the closest one. So just for the headshot there. You got him, nice shot. That was a good headshot, clean as. Such a great way to practice hunting with rabbits on the farm, starting off. Because the same laws of stalking apply as they do with a deer or a goat or a pig. It's a good chance to really hone your skills. Learn about wind, sound, keeping yourself quiet. If you've seen one in the bull paddock. You killed it! Instantly, good shot! Well done! I wouldn't take the shot, but if you're confident you can, go, you can do it, it's a bloody long way off. You got it! Kill shot, instant! Bloody hell, well done. That was an awesome shot, Dayla. Gee, she's good. You've shot that, honestly, a hell of a long way away. Instant dead. That was awesome shooting, honey. That was just an instant kill shot, and that's a hell of a long shot with a 22. You mark where it is on the post so you know where to find it. You're gonna have to go in the bull paddock to get that out. Yeah, he's watching you. He's on to you. He's about, oh, I suppose 90 meters. He's on to you, Dale. He's watching. Go for body shot. You hit him. Heart shot, well done. <laughs> it's great, just watch your head, don't hit the fence. I don't want to go on the bull fence. I'm going to get eaten alive. He's a friendly. Okay, you're good. This is really hard for Daddy. She's always had a fear of the bull. She's 
She'd be absolutely petrified. Don't touch that fence. That's one here, one to go. Hi, sweet. Just remember the white wires are electric, Dela. They're all electric. Are they? Okay. <laughs> You're okay. He's not interested in you. And cut that like that, see? Very easy. And stretch. Um, dogs can chew on that. Because his tail. <laughs> Safe kayaking, honey. Yeah. See you later, sweetheart. Yeah, bye. Bye. Yeah. Dad is meeting up with a brother this morning to go kayak the Mataki Taki River. So we'll feed her when she gets back late tonight. Mm -hmm. I left it hanging overnight. Sounds like we've got a new egg. Okay, there's our back straps of our first here, and I'm going to bone this one out as well. Our other ingredients are some garlic, a can of some red wine, some avocado oil, some cinnamon, some shallots, some sweet blueberries, and some bitter black currants, some red onion, a couple of mushrooms, some gourmet peppers, black chocolate, and we've got some parsley out of my herb garden, also some rosemary. And for dessert, we've got some passion fruit, banana passion fruit that Dale picked yesterday. Right, let's tear into it. I'm going to be using just the back straps on this, so feel where the spine is. Start right at the back there. Now this knife I'm using was made by Simon Walker. It's a field knife, I use it for hunting. But everything just about, it's a real nice sharp knife. So just go down the edge there, get that, and get your thumb and you feel the spine is below. Look at this. This is a nice, what I call the gold bar of every animal. Look at that. It's just beautiful. Pretty much the same as you would for a fish. We're just going to take this back strap, sinew off the back of it. Keep your knife slightly towards it. the board so you don't take too much meat. Bit of a shuffle and she's good to go. Nice. My lovely girlfriend Awe has just turned up. Say hi everyone, honey. Hey, <laughs> She's over here. <laughs> And she's already onto the garlic and she's doing it the way, which is the fast way, just to crush it. So I'll let you carry on with that sweet up and I'll do the shallots. This is leaf lard made from pig fat. It's taken from the fat around the pig's kidneys. It's not belly fat and it's not back fat. It's from the inside of the pig and that's hot. Shallots, garlic and red onion. Gonna dab that in there in the peppercorns, but we're not gonna salt the meat because it can toughen it up. This is a gamey animal. There's a storm coming up. We're going to give each back strap about two minutes on each side. A nice dark red wine. We're going to just let that alcohol burn off there. Oh, here comes the magic. That alcohol's burned off the wine. We're going to add this dark bit of chocolate. Let's check our back straps. 
We've got nice colour, we sure have, and that's about two minutes on that side. Our chocolate's melting down, we're going to add our berries. Put that into our nice sauce. Oh, that's nice, look at that. And add some gourmet peppercorns into our sauce for heat. Here's our parsley. Right, we give it a taste test and just see how things are. Oh, very nice. I'm going to add some chicken stock into here. I didn't say that I would at the beginning, but I think that's what's missing. So I'm going to put a couple of cubes of chicken stock in. Both sides, two minutes, and we're going to give another two minutes to finish off on this side again. Got nice colour there. Smells good. So just another two minutes, and that'll be good to go. So I'm adding these chicken stock extra, a couple of cubes in. The sauce is done. And these have had another two minutes, so we're just going to medallion them up and rest them for about two minutes and then serve. Alright, how does this look? Perfect, just perfect. Oh, I'm salivating, are we? Here is low in fat, high in protein, and very good for you. I'm serving this meat on a bed of baby spinach. What do you reckon, are we? Great looking. Pretty good, eh? Mm -hmm. Here we go, mate. A bit of parsley just to make it look like it's fancy. And we'll tear into it. Wine. Smell of wine? Mm. It smells good. The moment of truth. She's always the first to try my new mad experiments. Try it. It smells good. Reasonably tender, I can tell you're not chewing too hard. Mm. Did I do alright? <laughs> like, <laughs> like a dessert sauce. <laughs> like a dessert sauce with dessert. a chocolate, yeah. Chocolate berry. Yeah. Mm. The reason I'm using dark chocolate, well, there is a recipe for it, but also is that it, uh, it's really good for low blood pressure. And sometimes Awi has low blood pressure. And she found if she had one piece of black chocolate a day, it fixed it, eh? Mm -hmm. so there's a tip. Do we need more salt? I don't think so. No? There's no salt in that. It's delicious, eh? Mmm! Mmm! Mm, it's great! I've got quite a chewy bit of meat. Uh, one was a young hair and one was an old hair and I've just got the old one. Okay. I'll be My chewing a bit. The one, the mm. one. <laughs> I'm chewing on the side where I'm missing a teeth. So I'm, I'm gumming it. Can you taste the berries? can hardly taste them, eh? There's a lot of berries in there, but don't really taste them so much. Mmm. Mmm. I need to do this. Mmm. That's delicious. The meat just tastes good too, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Sauce is okay, but mmm. Mmm. Mushroom, good. She's good chomping and chewing. Oh, Bruno can hear us making noises. Think so? I'm gonna get some food. Mmm. Not for Bruno. That's delicious. Mm. Real healthy too. We're just chewing away here and I remembered something when I was eating it. I said to Awi, we forgot to put the cinnamon. That was an idea that my mum Sue had. She said, try a bit of cinnamon in there, but we didn't. But it tastes okay without it, but I think you could give it a go, eh? Mm. To mention a little bit. Mmm. It really is yum. I'm glad I added the chicken stock to taste that flavour. Mm. Thank mm. you for shooting this, Dana. I'm pretty proud of my daughter. She's a bloody good shot. All these animals are all instant kill shots, eh? And some quite far away. It's great, isn't it, when your kids can go out and harvest a bit of meat for you. When she's got her firearms license, she'll be able to go off without me and bring meat home, which would be awesome. <laughs> I've got myself well sorted from the old age. Mmm, that's good. Give it a crack. You'll love it. And good luck with your own hunting and cooking. See you later. Oh yeah, be good. If you can't be good, then what, honey? Be careful. Be careful here. Yeah. <laughs> I have to think about that one.